Today's horror manga dub narration is The Lighthouse, storyboard by Junji Ito. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right in to Junji Ito's The Lighthouse. I hope you all enjoy. Should pale death, with troubled dread, make the ocean caves our bed? God who hears the surges roll, deign to save the suppliant soul. Two men stand before us, dressed in uniforms adorned with hats. They begin to speak to one another. Cheers to four weeks. I will refrain. It's bad luck to leave a toast unfinished, youngster. It's against regulations. I ain't trying for trouble. Then shut up and do as I say. That's in your book, too. Ugh. One of the men walks over to a device pouring liquid into a cup, and raises it in a toast. Two four weeks. With a nod, he begins to drink. <laughs> the cistern needs a looking to one of your duties, lad. The brass and the clockwork too, and you tidy the quarters after. When the fog clears, you'll work through the dog watch. The man listens in silence for a moment, and then he says, I want to see the lantern. That, that's my territory. I'll tend the light till morning. I tend the light. Time begins to pass, and then the man says, To ye, me beauty. A brilliant shimmer of light radiates from the lighthouse, casting its glow across the water. Near the shoreline, a man stands transfixed, his gaze fixed on the breathtaking spectacle unfolding before him. There, submerged within the water, is a mermaid, a sight so utterly spectacular that it defies belief. How could such a creature exist? The next day... Lad, the shingle! Tend to it after the cistern. Also, the oil for the lantern is not enough. Are you a dullard? The man glares at his task, where a seagull stands defiantly, almost mocking him. Frustrated, he lets out a scream directed at the pesky bird. Get lost! However, the bird responds with a tremendous screech, as if declaring it will not yield without a fight. Later, back at the lighthouse, I seen you sparring with a goal, lad. The man pauses his demeanor changing as if he was embarrassed and lost in thought. Then the other man continues, saying, Don't touch them. It's bad luck to kill a seabird. And that is where Mr. Ito's adaptation of the lighthouse ends. To get the rest, you'll have to check out the film. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Motosurf, Leo, Dason Animus, Minyu Wei, Rich Harris, Andre Wolf, Tanya M, and Kago. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, 
You're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.